Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we started designing this uh, rotating cube over here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is our progress as of now. We have aligned all the cube faces perfectly. Now in this video, I'll show you how to rotate this cube when we move the mouse pointer using JavaScript. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, here's the source code and uh, the first thing we will do is I'll just move this cube to the right side. So here for the header, which is the container. So in the header, we have the left division and the cube container division. So here for the header, I'll just type justify content and let's set it to space between. And now if we go back here, we can see that the cube is on the extreme right side and uh, the text content is on the extreme left side. Right now, let's add the code to rotate this cube when we move the mouse pointer. Here we have already created this main.js file and we have linked it over here in the HTML file. So what we need to do is uh, we need to change the rotation of this cube division based on the mouse pointer position. So for that, we need to reference this cube division. So let's go to main.js file and let's type const cube equals document.querySelector.cube and now we need to add an event listener to the window. So let's type window dot add event listener. And we need to listen to the mouse move event. And let's create a function to execute the code. So let's create a function called handle mouse move. All right, let's create the function over here. So I'll just type const handle mouse move. Now this function gives us some data. And we can call the data over here. So I'll just call it event. You can name this uh, anything you want. Right now, let's create some variables to store the data that we get from this event. So I'll just create some variables over here. I'll just create a variable called mouse x. And by default, we'll set it to zero. And let's create a variable called mouse y. And let's set it to zero by default as well. Now we're going to get a lot of data from this event. So I'll just console.log some data that we need. So I'll just type console.log. And uh, we'll get this data for the mouse x. And for that, we need to type event dot client x. So this will give us the mouse x position. And let's type console.log and I'll just type mouse y. And here let's type event dot client y. Now let's go back to our design and let's see whether we have the data. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's open the console. And now we can see we have all this data over here. So if I move the mouse pointer, the position is being displayed over here. I'll just dock this console to the browser. Right now we can see that the mouse pointer position is being displayed over here. So if you go to the top left, we have 0, 0. And if you go to the right, we have the X position changing. And if we go to the bottom, we have the Y position changing. So we will use this data and we will change the rotation of this cube. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our code. Now let's go ahead and delete these two lines of code and we'll just store the event.clientx and event.clienty into these two variables. So let's type mouse x equals event.clientx and mouse y equals event.clienty. Right now we need to set the rotation. So let's type rotate x and we'll just set it to negative mouse y divided by window dot inner height so this will give us the height of this window from here till here and then we need to type minus 0 0.5 and we need to multiply this by a value so this will be the amount of rotation so i'll just type 270 you can change this value and try different rotation speeds and now let's type rotate y this should be rotate so i'll just add an e over here so rotate y equals and this will be mouse x divided by window dot inner width minus 0 0.5 multiplied by this value right here so i'll just create it as a constant over here so i'll just tap const rotation value and let's set it to 270 and i'll just add this constant over here instead of 270 so i'll just tap rotation value here also i'll just tap rotation value now the last thing we need to do is set this rotation to this cube right here. So let's type cube dot style dot transform equals 
and let's use back ticks and here let's type rotate x and uh, now we need to add the variable so let's type dollar symbol curly braces and here let's type rotate x and we also need to add degrees over here so let's type deg and then we need to type rotate y and in parenthesis you need to add the value so we have the variable over here called rotate y so let's type dollar symbol curly braces rotate y and we need to add degrees over here right now this should make our cube rotate based on the mouse position so let's go back to our design and now we can see that when we move this mouse pointer the cube is being rotated and we can go ahead and increase or decrease the rotation speed so if you go back to our code and here if you change this to let's try 180 now we can see that the rotation speed is too less and if you go back and change this to let's try 360 now we can see that the rotation speed is too much so you can go ahead and experiment with different values over here i just find 270 to be a good value for the rotation speed so that's basically how you can create this rotating cube using html css and javascript all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and i will leave the link of the source code in the description so if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day.